All right, so if uh, you guys are just joining us here, we are uh, here with Eric Val. Uh, we're going to be interviewing him. Uh, he's a local musician around this area, and uh, so uh, we're just going to ask him a couple questions about his music. So uh, how you doing, Eric? I'm not good. How are you? Oh, not bad. Okay, uh, so I guess first, where are you from? Uh, you know, where are you from? You're from around this area, right? Yes, I'm just outside of Williamsport, about on the other side of the mountain, uh, Williams, Washington, Pennsylvania. Okay, uh, so I guess when did you first start playing music? Uh, around 11 or 12 years old. Yeah, okay, so what do you, you play You play the guitar, right? Uh, vocals is my main thing, but I do vocals. play guitar, drums, and bass, too. Oh, okay, wow, all right, so a lot of instruments. Uh, I, I guess now, uh, who's in your band, and uh, how did you guys all meet up? I actually am well, just mainly a solo artist. Uh, the guys that came in to do the album were some of the bands you guys all might know, uh, Jesse... Uh, from 44 Mag, their drummer, Alex Boyce, he's with the ska band up there. Uh, the name escapes me, Joseph Hauserman. Uh He's from the Johnny Johnny Cash's brother, Tommy Cash's crew. He plays keyboards for them. Uh, Richard Rupert, who you guys might know, does the he's my sound engineer. He does a lot of the commercials and stuff for local radio stations, TV. Wow. Um, that's about it. And between the four of them, they did most of it, helped me do most of the music, so... Wow, okay. All right, so uh, I guess who are some of your big musical influences then? Oh, uh, Seven Dust, first off, uh, Stone Sour, Godsmack, Theater, uh, stuff like that, uh, hard rock stuff. Yeah, so that, that is the style of music you play then, like a harder rock? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very diverse. Even though I listen to those type of bands, it's still, there's still some lighter stuff on the record, and there's still some heavier stuff, so I, keep, I never let myself be held down by a by one sound, but yeah, that's the ma- my main influences. Okay, all right. And you said that uh, you are related to Elvis, right? L- tell me a little bit about that. Uh, that actually goes back to my my mom's side of the family, to my grandmother and all that. I'm actually ninth cousin to him directly. Wow. I actually, had, I had, we just learned this about three weeks before the album was finished and ready to be released. My, we did some research and this came up. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, I guess, uh, when is your, your new CD coming out and what, uh, other CDs and, and musical outlets have you done before that? Uh, this is, uh, I released the, the debut one back in August 31st and then I'm actually writing another one right now, uh, between, I don't know when that, it'll probably be 2013 before that one, the next one's released. Unless I do to get a band together, we'll probably, I want to go out and play some live shows here before too long. You know, of course. Help promote this thing, of course. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm always writing, so there's always going to be another record. But I guarantee it's just a question of when. Of course. Uh, so I guess what's one of your favorite uh, tracks on your new CD that's coming out here? Uh, the one that just came out? Yeah, uh, yeah, the one that just came out. Uh, I have to, probably yesterday's probably my favorite one because it's got heavy, heavy elements plus the travel stuff and a cool breakdown and a cool. I really like the melody and everything. It's it's very well rounded song in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. And so, where uh, where can the listeners uh, get and pick up your album or at least listen to it? Uh, you can pick it up at uh, iTunes. Uh, Airdrop Music has all the all the the uh, links to every site that's sold on, and all the links like YouTube and everywhere else where I'm where I'm featured. That's just to go to ericdowlmusic.com. You can find everything you want and anything you need. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and you mentioned a, l- a little bit earlier that you want to be playing some live shows. Do you have any of those lined up yet? Do you know where you want to play? Mm-hmm. Not for live. Uh, it's, good, it's a little harder to get the guys who go out and play live just because it's a lot of work for uh-huh. these songs. They get a lot to learn. Cause it's, I mean, they come in and did them at one night session, and they haven't, I mean, we haven't rehearse them and plus they're very busy people so it's a matter of either getting them or getting different people to come in and play for me but that's that's the main hold up right now is doing that so it's hard to say if i'll even do it or if it does happen it'll be up on the website when we're going to do it okay all right so and your website is uh eric val music is that is that right Yep, that's correct. Okay, yeah, dot com. All right, so you heard it here. Uh, check out uh, m- local musician, local artist Eric Val at his website, ericvalmusic.com. And uh, thanks for being on the show here with us, Eric.